In 1815, when Schubert was but 18 years old, he embarked on a two-year devotion to composition, a golden age which produced more than 300 of his finest leap, masses, string quartets, and part songs. This fertile period included his second mass setting, the Mass in G Major, which is our featured work this evening. The Kyrie begins the music gently and lyrically, but quickly displays some of the rhythmic vitality that will punctuate the work. Its choral settings surround a beautiful soprano solo on the text Christie Aleison. The Gloria then changes boisterously with a great opening fanfare and forte chorus. After a more tempered middle section that weaves two solos within the choral texture, this fanfare returns to gloriously complete the movement. The Credo is the most wide-ranging musical journey, from the cont contemplative opening Credo to the powerful declamation of Crucifixus to the climactic et resurrexi. Underlying it all is an ever-moving orchestral accompaniment that holds the movement together. After a regal opening of, to the Sanctus, Schubert provides a short but delightful fugue on the text of Hosanna, a fugue that repeats after the intricate Benedictus solo trio. Finally, the work concludes as gently as it began, with two soloists and three responses from, for the chorus before coming to its rest. Like most choral settings of the Mass, the five movements of Mass of G major correspond with five texts of the Catholic Mass ordinary. In doing so, however, Schubert never employs them in their most standard form. As scholar Dennis Schrock notes, quote, individual words are repeated, the standard order of phrases is interchanged, and, most striking, some words and phrases are deleted, unquote. This doesn't seem to stem from a commentary on these texts, but rather from an effort to use portions of the text that most suit the musical ideas. In the end of Gloria, for example, eliminates most words in order to more clearly emphasize a sequence of phrases that all start with two solus, building to the music's highest apex. Recent scholarship has shown that Schubert's orchestra for the Mass, once thought to be strings and organ only, in later versions also included trumpet and timpani. We also know that Schubert's brother Ferdinand at one point added woodwind, brass, and timpani music, creating a full classical romantic orchestra for much bigger performances. For our concert tonight, in the intimacy of this beautiful space, we offer this music in the form of a string quintet with piano. We are delighted to perform tonight with the four members of St. Vincent Strings and to introduce to all of you William Wren of the Pittsburgh Youth Symphony Orchestra on cello. We now present to you Schubert's Mass in G Major. 